I now request our chief guest to address all our students on the importance of English. Please, sir. Happy morning to one and all champions. Mr. Bean, please come inside. How many of you turn back? Please raise your hand. How many of you look back at the gate when I said, Mr. Bean, come inside? You have not lost your childhood reminiscence. I believe the innocence of God is all with you. Yes? Great. Respected principal of St. Joseph, all the staff members, and uh, my dear students, a pleasant morning. And I'm over elated to attend this grand program. I thought it would, it would have been an informal celebration when your HOD informed me about this English Day Week celebration. But I wouldn't think that this was really, really awesome, I would say. I was really taken up with all the preparations that you had carried forward and different types of programs that you presented today here on stage. It was really soul quenching. And I think about my childhood days when I attend this program. So thank you so much. I believe there should have been a hard and a great uh, work behind this entire show. So the credit goes to the students and supportive parents as well as the English department to put forward this beautiful program with the guidance of uh, the principal. So hats off to you. You know, for past two days I was just recollecting what would be the message I'd be giving on this day, English celebration. But you see, there are lots of ironies and as you presented, the funny things in English language that even uh, represents in our day-to-day -day life in classrooms as well. Imagine a teacher named Tamil Selvi, she will be the English teacher in our school. Sometimes it happens, you see. And you know, a a students making comments on languages like, shh, be quiet, principal has passed away. <laughs> like going in a corridor. A PD master calling a child, please come here, hang this calendar, otherwise I'll hang myself. Or a teacher says inside a class, children all looking at the windows outside. Teacher got angry and she said, children, why are you looking at the monkeys outside when I am in the class? She was terribly angry because children are looking at the monkeys outside. It goes like that, you know, so English and Pick the paper, fall in the dustbin, instead of put it in the dustbin. So it is very interesting and you know, it's not about making fun of English, but it's a beautiful language of course. And today, it's been a surprise to me because I never intended to learn English. But my Tamil teacher wanted me to go for English major in my graduation. And that's how today I'm so happy that he made a right choice that I've been invited as a guest for an English Day celebration. It is something, something very, very happy. That's what I believe. Today I would like to give you a quote from Joe Sam, a Nobel laureate, 1998, a Portuguese writer. He says, Inside in every one of us, there is something which has no name. And that something is what we are. Inside, in every one of us, there is something which has no name. Satish, Kumar, Gokul, Divya, Vidya, whatever it is, we call it by the outer appearance. But inside you, who are you? We do not know and that something is what? Today I have a question to all of you. I believe the anchor was asking too many questions and you are rewarded and awarded for beautiful uh, quizzes and questions that came from the program. So now I have an open question to the students. I have a doubt ever since my childhood days. What language does God speak? I do not know. Does he understand Tamil or English or whatever the language is, Telugu or Malayalam, Kannada? What language does God speak? Have you ever seen God speaking to you? No. No, you are wrong. Every day you are speaking to God. So that is an answer. Think, think. Open question. 
Yes, somebody said it here. Science is the right answer. Please give her a very big round of applause. I believe she should be rewarded for that too. Yes, good. God speaks in silence. There is a prop. You heard it, right? Yes. We have too many phrases for God in different languages, in different form of worshipping God. We speak to Him with lots of intercessions and prayers. But God speaks in silence. And His language is nothing but that silence is love. God's language is love. You just have to just constantly gaze Him and just speak to Him one on one. The best communication. God does. You, you don't have to limit God Himself with English or Tamil or whatever the language can be. That's what the great philosopher Socrates said. A person who knows that he does not know knows much more than the one who does not know that he does not know. He said it, right? A person who knows that he does not know knows much more than who does not know that he does not know. So who knows best? The emptiness in us and every day is a learning and uh, it's been an awesome a moment to be with you all this morning to recollect, uh, to be part of this English celebration. I am overwhelmed. I thank your principal for this invite and your HOD and English department. And keep rocking. Learn day by day English. Okay? Thank you. God bless you. Thank you, sir. Thank you for a captivating speech. It was really interesting. It's one of the best speeches we have ever heard. Thank you so much, sir.